nice outfit. Reach for the moon. If you miss, at least you'll be among the stars. What? Excuse me. I just prefer to express myself with words that have meaning. I could have just said, hello, stranger. But instead, I gave you a piece of wisdom. Who knows? Maybe it will change your life. What do people do here? Play bell and bones, mostly. And drink. Also, fight occasionally. Can you give me another quote? Get out of your head and into your heart. You think you can change lives with a cheesy motivational quote? Handle words carefully, for they have more power than atom bombs. How do I get to the private lounge? Oh! It's easy. You don't. Why, this doesn't sound fair to me. Don't look at me. I'm not the one making the rules here. You can't go in there unless you've been invited by Ernest himself. And uh, how do I get invited? How should I know? My job is to keep everyone safe and spread wisdom. You have to seek your own path. I have to go. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it's happened. Good thing I've never liked to gamble. Have you ever thought about robbing a casino? That's not my style. Whenever I see one of these, I wonder, what if it falls down? That balcony surely offers a great view of the commoners wasting their eternity. Sad, but poetic. Good thing I've never liked to gamble. Have you ever thought about robbing a casino? That's not my style. He has Don't Mess With Me written all over his face. State your business. Do you get tired from standing here all day? No. I do it to protect the leader from unwanted company, like yours. Doesn't your face hurt from scowling so much? No, it doesn't. Not even a little? No, not even a little. But what about your personal life? What do you want from me? Of course I'm tired, standing here all day. And yes, it is hard to always look so threatening. But I am proud of my job, and it's an honor to serve the leader. So please, stop pestering me and mind your own business. Oh my, you really got to him, Vincent. No, he didn't. Oh yes, he very much did. I'm not listening to you anymore. What? Did you say something? I can't hear you. I knew you were a softie. The leather jacket always gives it away. I want to talk to Ernest. You? Talk to the leader? Maybe in the next life, if you get one. Why is that? I thought all whatever lenders were equal losers. That may be true, but the leader is not just a whatever lender. He's above us all, the true master of this world. And most importantly, he's invincible at Ball and Bones. Isn't Beatrice the one in charge here? She made whatever land after all. It doesn't matter who created this place. Ernest is the one who made whatever land great. Beatrice must bow her head before him, and she will, very soon. Wow, someone's delusional. Does Beatrice know that she's going to bow her head? I highly doubt that. You may think whatever you want, but that is the truth. Yeah, whatever, but is there really no way to get inside? Well, maybe if you become the second best bell and bones player in Whateverland, and have a bet that might interest the leader, but that is not possible. So the answer is no. We'll see about that. I'll be back soon. I hope not. State your business. 
I have become the second best Bell and Bones player in Whateverland. Will you let me in now? The leader has heard of your achievements. You managed to impress him. That is true. So, can I talk to him? It depends. Do you have the six pieces of the spell? And don't look so surprised. You know what I'm talking about. The leader has eyes and ears everywhere. I don't have the pieces. Yet. Then come back when you get them. I'll be back soon. I hope not. How can people willingly go on stage to be judged by others? I need to get in there, but how? You know what? I'd watch a movie starring that guy. I second that. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I can't let you pass without an invitation. I need to speak to Lewis. It's urgent. Yeah, of course you do. Everybody wants something from Mr. Lewis. But no invitation means no entry. We need to figure out a way to attract his attention. Got any ideas? Not really. How about we ask the band? Hmm. How come the bartenders are always so good looking? If you're looking for Lewis, he's in his lodge. That's how I'm gonna say to you. Ever. Polite as always, I see. Piss off, Nick. Okay, okay. I hope you don't have any dumb questions for me. Not really. How can hair do that? I've always found drummers to be the coolest. Are you serious? Guitar players are so much cooler. They're just show-offs who like to whip their hair a little too much. Yeah, but that's the point. Um, no it isn't. Let's just agree to disagree. And here I thought Davy Jones could only come ashore once every ten years. Who's Davy Jones? A friend of yours? Ah, never mind. With arms that long, even I could play the double bass. Trust me, you couldn't. You have absolutely no faith in me, Nick. Who needs all those bulbs? Welcome to our cave, stranger. And who are you guys? We're the Duck de Lomlet, the best local jazz band. I'm Mo, and these are my dudes, Joe, Poe, and Lenny. Lenny? Seriously? Yeah, he just likes to be special, you know. Those damn drummers. The Duke de Lomlet, huh? Please, don't ask. Well, now I just have to ask. <sighs> have you ever met Eddie? If you mean Eddie the Huge Talking Raven, then yes, I have. So, Poe here is a big fan of his poetry, like, for real. Once we were hanging out in the arabesque, and I saw actual tears in his eyes after Eddie finished reading one of his poems. I'm not sure where this is going. At that time, we were just thinking about the name for our band, and Poe had a brilliant idea. What if we asked that genius bird of a poet to come up with a name for us? So, he did. That's the most pretentious name I've heard in my entire life. Yep, that's Eddie for you. I guess we should be grateful he didn't call us the premature burial or something morbid like that. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Me neither, bro. Me neither. Why aren't you playing? We don't have a guitarist. Francois got into one of his moods again and just left. Now Louis is pissed at us. I knew we shouldn't have let him join the band. I saw him jump over a bridge recently. Not sure he's coming back to you. Well, that's too bad. 
Anyway, we need someone to play the guitar, or else we can't go out on that stage. Are you guys close friends with Francois? I don't think Francois even knows what a friend is supposed to be. So no, not really. What do you mean? We tried to be friends with him, we really did. But he never went for a drink with us at the Arabesque, never answered any questions about his life. Now that I think of it, I only know his name and that he likes to play guitar. Not much to work with, is it? Have you ever thought about why he avoided all those questions? Uh, no, I haven't. If you really wanted to be his friend, maybe you should have tried to understand him first. Friendship is not just about hanging out after work, you know? Whoa, dude, that's deep. Yeah, dude, I know. I guess you have a point. I'll think about it. Any idea how I can get Louis's attention? Why? Why what? Why do you want to get his attention? I just want to talk. Wow. Okay. I guess that could be a reason. There is a way. He usually comes out when the band is playing really well, or when someone dares to play something other than jazz. Then he'll definitely notice. But we only play jazz anyway, so that's out of the question. Well, shit. Actually, I can play guitar. Really? Why are you surprised? I am a ghost of many artistic talents. I'm not. Always knew you were talented. I used to play the lute when I was younger. And of course, I have a perfect ear for music, which is not surprising at all. So, how about we play together? Hmm, that's not the worst idea ever. There's a guitar in the closet. Go get it so we can practice a bit. This will be perfect for you. Oh, I agree. She's quite a beauty. This will be perfect for you. Oh, I agree. She's quite a beauty. Hey, Vincent. What is it? Do you have a plan? Or am I supposed to improvise? Don't worry. I just want to impress him, so play as well as you can. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. I'm sure you'll do great. Aw, oh, will you cheer for me? How about throwing flowers on the stage? Shut up, Nick. Fine, fine.
Mr. Lewis will see you now. Someone's popular, huh? You can't even imagine. Someone's popular, huh? You can't even imagine. Why does he look so cool? I think it's the hat. Well, then I need the hat. Why do cats love these so much? Sorry, what? I didn't quite catch that. Oh, bring my rouse and bring his grass to the top. Nope, still don't get it. Uh, I completely forgot to tell you. As usual. Hey, don't act like I'm not helping you at all. Anyways, Louis doesn't speak like normal people. I figured that much, thank you. Will you let me finish? To understand what he's saying, you need to listen to his voice as if it was actual music. <sighs> okay, I'll try. So, Jeeva, perhaps it's either all? I'm even more surprised than you are. My name is Vincent. I'm not a local landmark of any kind, but still. You seem to be quite popular with the ladies. Oh, you think so? And you don't? If you were aiming for a modest response, that wasn't it. Why bragging suits you? Oh, please save me a from somewhere else. To be honest. All the pounds and then that shame in the night has nothing to do with the ring. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm a true man. Can you tell? It shows, actually. <laughs> I mean, I'm on the right Someday, I show you what I'm like my true barbers. And not today. And what if the ladies don't like you as much after that? I know it ain't gonna sound strange coming from me, but ladies are not really that important. Huh. Just so you know. Not caring about girls, man, you practically in river boy in the hill, man. You time is in again. What happened between you and Beatrice? What happened? I don't know who. Um... Wait, really? Why would I not have done this one? I mean, Beatrice is very gentle. I'm a I'm ready for anything that I was a bad, but a minion of a broken heart of bitch. Mm -mm. She clearly needs to work on her level team. There's something I need to take from you. Really? I'm just glad the children are something from me. I don't want to be crazy about it. No, it's not about your company. <laughs> you sure? Know? Pretty sure, yeah. I'm with them. I need a piece of the spell that summons Beatrice. Oh, how do you know I am? Why did I get it? Was it just in my hand? Knows it right where you are. Guilty as charged. Well, I don't mind the name now. <laughs> yeah, but I was just in the hot town and sending you in a desert prize. You just showered me with compliments, and now there is a price tag on your help? <laughs> no, that will be on the right of You can remember that. 
Fine, what do you need me to do? Stitch up your favorite shirt? Cure a dying puppy? What is it? Ha! Nothing happened to me, I'm serious. All I've been is a single day the most. Never the woman in the world. Her name is Fia. A date? With Fida? Yeah, that's a fun. I mean, Fida is great and all, but you're obviously not lacking female attention. What is the moment of someone doesn't tell me? Nothing that needs to do with that. Even the more beautiful girl is not a suit and did that all the little love. I totally agree. A romantic in disguise, are you now? Only a fool out of human beings that they are born of love. Anyway, I want to ask you if you go out and date with me. Why can't you ask her yourself? I do it, man. I'm just too mad. In the evening, are we? Now that I think of it, you are a pretty good match. Thank you! Oh, uh, I love it. <laughs> I love you, friend. Well, by the model me. Farewell. See you in the bottom of the bay. Do you need anything? Hey, do you know Louis? Everybody knows Louis. Why do you ask? Did you know he was in love with you? <laughs> no, I did not know that. I'm serious, Fida. He said that the only thing he dreams of is taking you out on a date. Why are you doing this, Vincent? If you think it's funny, then I assure you it's not. He's telling the truth, Fida. I heard it too. And why should I believe you? No reason, but it's the truth. Otherwise, he wouldn't be waiting at the entrance right now. Wait. He's here? Oh God, how do I look? Fine, I guess. Fida, darling, don't listen to him. Vincent has no taste whatsoever. You look amazing. Right. I think I can do this. Although there is a problem. What is it? I can't understand a single word he says. You see, I'm completely tone deaf. My parents wanted me to become a pianist, but I disappointed them even in this. He only talks about himself anyway. He wouldn't be asking me out on a date if he only wanted to talk about himself. Or would he? How about we get you an earpiece, so that Vincent can quickly translate what Louis says? Wow! I'm an actual genius! This is actually a great idea! Let's do it! Aren't you interested in what I think about it? Nope. Not really. <sighs> Alright, so here's how it goes. You have to translate what Louis says, but keep in mind that Fida is a modest woman. And Louis, let's just say he can be a bit straightforward, so you might want to filter it out a little. You want me to lie to her? No, I want you to help out a good guy who's never been on a proper date before. Got it. <clears throat> so, can you tell me a little about yourself? I don't know about me. Me and this guy are You'll strike him to that. Why talk about me when we can discuss a more pressing matter? Your strike and beauty. Oh, sweet talker. <laughs> you know, I was in the Baptist day, I was turned by a possum again, and by your rabbit fruit, of course. But many of the gays. Louis says he was captivated by your eyes when he first saw you at the club. Really? Your eyes were the first thing I noticed as well. They're so beautiful. Uh, I think I'm not coming to my life.
She really appreciates your love for music. It's something you two have in common. That's very true. I love music. Such a shame I have absolutely no ear for it. I was allowed to become the new what you doing in bar. I always wanted to compliment you on what you've done with this bar. Only a truly talented woman could have brought so much life to a grim place like Whateverland. Although you have to admit, my jazz club is not bad either. I must admit the jazz club has its charms, but thank you for the compliment. This place means everything to me. In fact, I don't understand, man. Some torturers! I'm not going to tell you a music. I'm going to play the body to my home, It's better to what you want to teach on how He would like to teach you music theory, so you two can understand each other better. I would like that very much, actually. Louis, are you okay? Oh, you're great! Feel really nice, don't you? Oh, thank you, my friend! Thank you. Better take this back. I'm not even in whatever land I'm on the table ever. Good luck, Lewis. I can't believe we just witnessed Lewis and Fida having an actual date. How did that happen? They're a good match, don't you think? Now that I think of it, they actually are pretty cute together. Ah, oh, the wonders of love. I propose a toast for the happy couple. First, one date does not mean they're a couple. And second of all... You have a drinking problem. You're such a bore sometimes. Fine, then let's get going. Oh, how I bathed in lights, so blinded and unaware. Oh, many lonely nights, with no one I wanted to share. Oh, can you hear me, love? My gentle and quiet song. Oh, like a mateless dove, I've waited for far too long. 